Bloodburn. That was the name of the hex plague that had caused the rot 600 moons ago. It came from a land far across the water, and its bite was felt by the races in different ways. Elves were barely affected. Brittle bones died slowly. Green skins quickly and brutally. The Bloodburn was weaker on Urgath, but it affected its creatures nonetheless. The trolls were left cursed with weak flesh and cubs who died before they could be born. All right, a tiny pierce stick with hex power, Gabrak said. Let them find it. And keep their crush sticks ready. Zeramak said there were beasts. Zazka is, is on his way. way. Zazka get a proper look. What this? needed of him. Need more power! Well, well. What have they here? Any idea who lived here? Hunters? Nah. They hunt for the shiny things, so they would not leave them here. Maybe robbers. Brittle bones who crush and steal from other brittle bones. Mm. That way. If he insists, let Grungwa take a closer look. Grungwa. No! No touching! Fat troll hands don't touch Zippet's gold! No! Just a tiny spirit, Greenskin. It is harmless. Harmless? Zip it will show the fat brutes harmless. You see these bones, yes? They were two adventurers who starved to death because Zip it kept the magic walls up for a hundred years.
The moon can care not about the shiny things, but they need something with hex power. Hex what? Magic. Oh, you mean an artifact, yes? Fine. Zippet doesn't want to stay here for a hundred years, no. So here's his deal. Zippet gives you one of his artifacts, and the fat brutes hand back his gold. Everybody happy, yes? Hmm. What is this artifact? They will get in return. They need something strong, with hex power. It, uh, is strong. Owned by a very powerful pale-skinned mage. Yes. A hex stick, then. What can it do? Throw fireballs? Raise the dead? Well, um, no. Cut potatoes. By itself, floating, yes. Very useful, very strong. And the pale skin loved it. It should be fine, Akrog. Just a bit of hex power will be enough. <sighs> fine. They have a pact. Yes, yes! Now give Zippet the gold! is here. What is that? Oh, beautiful! Come back to zip it! Yes! Why Treasure Goblin was dead and still talk, Rumpf? No out think Magua take dead things to Moonlit River. Nah, only troll kind. The other races have their own ways of finding the Moonlit River. This goblin was undead because his soul was still restless and he wanted not to... Just get out of here, okay? This place gives me the creeps. Big Blood Will? He looked strange. <sighs> it is just... He has been hearing things again. The gift of spirits. It matters not. Let them move on. Ah, fine. They had better try that key. Let Zoska get a proper look. There! Artifact! All right. Now back to the tribe camp, to ask Zaramak if this is enough to shape the tooth. May Magua guide his hands. Next. 
What on Urgath is this? This looks interesting. Interesting? Probably. What should he do? Ready for action. He find out. No, I'll go look. All right. Let them bring this to Zeramak. They must complete the devouring before sundown. It will all work out. Grangwa feels it. Magwa smiles upon them. <laughs> Wonderful. Then what could go wrong? <sighs> Why, Zaska? Why must he always blaspheme? Zaska knows how difficult his role in the tribe is. He wants he everyone to shun him. They can speak of this later. Now is not the time. Zazga could not agree more. Can a troll not rest for a moment? Oh, Chieftain back? Good, good. What he need? Akrog needs Zeramak. What he need? Old hide, he have it still. Here, Chieftain, Mugwa's tooth. Hmm. Akrog, thanks, Zeramak. To Cabra. Moving. 
moving now. Let Akrog see. Ha! Look at this! The fabled moon blood. No hag, is it not? Is it true? Well, well. Noak truly has his sire's blood. A prime specimen. And Grumwa says he has no signs of the rot at all. No weak bones? No stunted tusks? Nothing? None. He's not even old enough to hunt yet, but already stronger than some warriors by his fifth year. Grumwa believes he will grow even bigger. Chieftain Narjak aside, Magwa praise him. Noag is the strongest moonkin that there ever was. Well, then Cabrax hopes Noag will sire many cubs. Perhaps one with a bone king, though. <laughs> Noag is standing right here, they know. <laughs> it is just mating. So, have the moonkin shaped the tooth yet? Akrog has it. Let Cabrax see. Here. Will this do? Hmm. It should. Follow them inside. What is this? The air here makes Grandma's hide prickle. You will lead the way. What this? Well then, time for the preparations. The summoning of Mugwa's cub. <laughs> no need to look like a beak shat on his head, Akrog. Summoning Mugwa's cub is a great honor. He should be smiling. A moonkin and a bonekin have to die for the ritual. Akrog sees nothing to smile about, and he understands not why Cabrax would. Cabrax told him why. It is an honorable way to die. Being worked to death as a slave of the greenskins? Disgrace. Starving? Disgrace. Untusked by a brittle bone? Disgrace. But giving one's blood so that Mugwa's cub can take the fabled chieftain Narjak firstborn into the moonlit river. That is an honorable way to die. A way worthy of Mugwa's spawn. Kabrak speaks true. Anuk's trusted one will have dark thoughts for a long time. But maybe he will find solace in the thought that Arnuk will be floating in the moonlit river right beside Narjak. It is a great honor. Arnuk, die? Why? So Noag's sire can go in peace, and trusted one Akrog can be the new chieftain. Zazka will explain to Noag, but not now. <sighs> The blood givers are already here, are they not? What else is needed? Prepare the rest of the offering, of course. Wood, food, and crushed stone. Tradition demands for the devoured one's tribe to gather them. But if Akrog wants, the Bone King can do it instead. He knows the Moon King are weary. They are weary, it is true. But the Moon King will respect the traditions. They will harvest the offering themselves. Words of a future chieftain. Return when the Moonkin workers have built the gathering dance, then. Akrog is ready.
What should he do? He is going. Akrog is listening. Let Akrog see. That way. A building is done. What now? More trouble? Interesting. Probably. All right. The workers are preparing the offering. What is next? Scrap! Just have the Moonkin scrappers search the cradle. There should still be some mounds nearby. Then comes the blood giving. How works the blood giving exactly? Two blood givers must offer their lives to Mugwa. Zaska knows that. But how? It is complicated. Of the two blood givers, one is the sacrifice, and the other, the vessel. The vessel devours the sacrifice, then spills his own blood at the foot of the holy stone. Hmm. Elder Grunoir Grafer is as wise as they say. What mean devour? Eat. So he means the vessel must eat the sacrifice's flesh? Like chosen chieftain Akrog will eat his sire's flesh of the ceremony. It is true. Cabrax told both Bloodgiver Urnok the sacrifice, and Bloodgiver Itzka the vessel what they should do. Akrog should speak to them once he is ready to make the offering. He will. Sharp tusks and thick hide. At his service. Troll not rest for a moment. Go. Moving now. The building is done. Enough. What is it? Blood giver Itzka will give his life tonight. He wishes not to die with the rot in his bones. Uh, the rot can only be passed on through blood, not from troll to troll. That is what every fool believes. 
It's Gawance's flesh to be pure when he offers it to Mukwa. No. Why is the chosen chieftain speaking to Itzka? He wants to be alone with his thoughts. Krog came to offer his thanks, and tell Itzka that the ritual is ready. Thanks? Itzka does this for Magwa, not for the Moon King. But he thanks Akrog for his words. Is the Blood Guard waiting? Blood Guard? Kabrax has not told him yet. The tradition demands that the Moon King bring three strong warriors to protect the Pyre. Akrog understands. He will take care of it. He should. Itzka will meet him at the Holy Stone. Ready. On his way. What this? Chosen chieftain Akrog Bone Whisper. Magua praise. Magua praise, blood giver Arnok Soft Tusk. Is he ready for the sacrifice? Blood giver. All his life. Arnok was a healer, and now that is all he is. He became blood giver the moment Magua decided so. Rot Magua! Rot the devouring! Rot the hunters! Rot everything! Nurab! Nurab cannot take this! Nurab! Nurab, go! <sighs> Just when Anuk has accepted his fate, his trusted one will not. What can he do, Chosen Chieftain? 
He wants not to leave Norab like this. Bitter and broken. Is there anything Akrog can do to make it easier for them both? How about a soul charm? It is a stone with hex power from the brittle bone ruins here. It can store the voice of a living creature. If the Moonkin found a soul charm for Anuk, he could speak a few words for Norab into it. This way, Norab could treasure them forever. That, uh... Anuk would like that. But he wants not to be a burden on the tribe. Nerbak is right. The Moonkin should not stay here any longer than necessary. Anuk gives his life for the devouring. So this is the least the Moonkin can do. The blood for the tribe. The tribe for the blood. Hmm. Anuk thanks, Grungwa. Where can they find the soul charm? Cabrax told Grungwa that the kin hoard them. They should talk to their Thing Keeper. Hmm. All right. They will be back. More scrap for him? Chosen chieftain. Akrog never asked. Why is Arnak called Soft Tusk? His tusks look not soft or brittle. Hmm. Akrog speaks true. They are not. Anuk's same blood Jag gave him this name, actually. Jag? Hmm. Granwa knows this name not. Hmm. That surprises Anuk not. Anuk said farewell to Jag many moons ago, and he is in the Moonlit River now, along with their sires. They were just cubs when they lost their sires, so <laughs> they noticed not. But when they were grown, Anuk same blood took care of Anuk. He taught him how to hunt, how to find herbs, <laughs> everything. He find out. Mugwa prays. He is chosen chieftain Akrog Bone Whisper. Thing Keeper Neek knows him. The Trowl who can make the dead fight for him. How knows he? Oh, be no fool. Every Trowl knows the cub of Chieftain Narjak Firstborn. And his same blood, the Moon Blood. Neek must say he expected something else. Akrog looks not yet like a chieftain to me. <laughs> Let alone the one to follow Narjak Firstborn. Hmm. It is true, Akrog is not chieftain yet. But he will be, and he will prove himself. So easy to shake. Be careful, Akrog, or Ken might take him for a slave. Either way, what came he here for? Akrog wonders if the Bonekin have a soul charm. The Moonkin's blood giver, he would like one for... Well, he's trusted one. Soul charm? The brittle bone boxes that can trap a voice, no? It is true. They are small spheres, silver like the moon, 
And Neek knows what they look like. And it is true. They have one. Here. What want the bone kin in return? Nothing. The Moonkin blood giver makes a great sacrifice. If this keeps the dark thoughts away from his trusted one, Neek is glad to help. Akron thanks Neek. Sharp tusks and thick hide. Akron must leave. What next? Chieftain. Here. The Bonekin gave Akrog this soul charm. Hmm. Anuk likes it. How works it? Anuk just speak something? And the hex inside will trap it. It is true. Hmm. Anuk sees. Anuk is with Mugwa now. And he will be there when Nurab joins him in the moonlit river. Will he bring Nurab the soul charm now? Hmm. Anuk would like Akrog to bring it to him. After the devouring, when Anuk is gone. Why? Nurab, his trusted one. Very true, Moonblood Noag. But seeing Nurab now would only make Anuk weak again. He has said all that needed to be said. Now, it is time for him to do his duty. The tribe for the blood. The blood for the tribe. Chosen Chieftain Akrog. Anuk. Make all this death mean something. Save the Moonkin. No matter the price. Going now. Chosen Chieftain, has he spoken to the Bloodgivers? He has. Good. Then the summoning may start. First, Akrog will have to place the offering at the Holy Stone. Then... Well... Then the vessel must devour the sacrifice. Then spill his blood at the foot of the Holy Stone. Once this has been done, Mugwa's cub will rise from the earth. Will Kabrax guide the ritual? No, this is the Chosen Chieftain's burden. And his alone. Akrog understands. He is going. Let Grungwa take a closer look. Let Akrog see. Chosen Chieftain. Is it time? Anok is ready. And Itzka is too. It 
is time. This is the tooth. Strange. What is? That it would end this way. Anuk thought about how he would die so much. Yet, this... It never crossed his mind. Itzga will honor Anuk's flesh. Hmm. Akrog will be a good chieftain. Anuk feels it. Go now. What should he do? No, I'll go look. By the golden shiny holy hide! Tell Cabrax not! This is not beautiful, Akrog! Tell him not! Will it? Akrog means... Whose word obeys it? Chosen Chieftain Akrog's, of course. He summoned it. Then the devouring can begin. It is true. Speak the words, then Cabrax will light the pyre. If he wants to take a last look at his sire's flesh, it should be now. Is Akrog ready? He 
years. Then call in the Moon King's chosen warriors. Cabrax will brew the embalming liquid. Then the devouring begins. And so, Elder Grungwa Grafer gives Chieftain Narjak Firstborn's flesh to his cub, the Chosen Chieftain. Not only so he may become the new Chieftain, not only so his blood stays in the tribe forever, but to honor Magwa, the Moon Goddess, who through all these struggles still smiles on troll kind. Magwa praise. Do it, chosen chieftain. Devour the heart. The devouring is complete. With Magwa's blessing, Akrog Bone Whisper is now Chieftain of the Moonkin. Speak, Chieftain. Speak loud and speak proud because his words will be remembered. The hunters have taken so much from the Moonkin. Akrog will- Wait! What? Something... something is wrong. They... HUNTERS! Enemies are attacking! Fight back! The camp will crush them! No one there. Brutes! Bloody brutes! Fight them back! Fight for Mugwa! Why must they plague the Moonkin? Great! More problems to smash! Sasuke help? What can he do for the tribe? Squire, do it! Cast the spell! Commander, why must For the moon here? No! Impossible. He might be old, but his tasks are not with us. He go there. On his way. But this is pointless! The Moon King must flee! Now! What is he talking about? The trolls will crush them! No! They will not! Tusks! There are hundreds of them out there! Cabras can sense it! And they killed the cub with a single hex! He speaks true, Chieftain. They need to flee. But how? The fire is everywhere. 
Caprax knows a way. What happened? Where are they? Still near the cradle. This must have been a teleport hex, like the hunters used to get into the cradle. They... More hunters. Cabrax was right. To the tribe camp. Now. I hope that spell worked. That thing was bloody terrifying. Don't worry, it will. Etras is the best mage in the... Ellen's... No hurt, Moken! More life force, quick! Ready for action! The blood for the tribe! The enemies killed a hero! May Magua guide his hands! No word. He coming for them! He moving! Grungwa is ready. They run from the war crowds to smash. The enemies killed a hero. What is needed of him? Why must the plague come drunk in? What should he do? The enemies killed a hero. Zazka is listening. No one go there. Is that blood giver Anuk's trusted one? Norab. He will never get the soul charm. To the tribe camp. Now. What on Urgath is this? Look who has arrived. Nurbok told Akrok this would happen, but he listened not. Stop, Nurbok. This is not the time for fighting. Krum speaks true. Understands not. The eyes. It's... it is hard to explain. It is true that the beaks and the eyes see no hunters. But when Anuk go out yesterday, he see these strange sparkles in the air. Like how air look over a fire. This morning, Anuk and I see sparkles from the bushes. But suddenly, there is a blue cloud on the sparkles and hunters come out. A teleport hex. Just like in the Cradle. Mm-hmm. When Anuk find out, he run back to the tribe camp, but it was too late. He is sorry, Chieftain Agrog. He failed the tribe, and now so many kin is dead. Anuk is not to blame. It was Akrog who would not listen. Chieftain Akrog. Mm. The small tusk is the last one to tell Nurbok what to do. He is not even a moon. Quiet. Tusks, maybe Akrog made a mistake, but now is not the time to fight. Kin died, again. And more will die if the Moonkin stay here and wait for the hunters to finish crushing the cradle. They need to leave. Now, powerful words. And where plans this great leader to take the Moonkin? Right into the next ambush? He knows not, but they will work something out. Maybe there is no need to. Zazka has an idea. Nurbok remembers when he said Zazka was making schemes again? Well, it is true. For the past moon, he has been meeting with a brittle bone. A brittle bone? That is what Zazka just said. And no, he has not betrayed them. 
Even though that is what they all believe he is just waiting to do. This brutal bone, he has a plan that would not just help the tribe crush the hunters, but could also cure the rot. Cure the rot? How? How is that possible? And there is the catch. The Moonkin must resurrect a fallen god.